What's up guys, it's the only Ninja Warring Aviators on the Superhero Hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja YouTube channel and today we're going to be doing another video here in Avatar Month. If you haven't heard already, today is actually this entire month is going to be a month full of Avatar related videos. No, not the blue people, the series, the awesome series. Uh, why am I doing this? Well, because it's my channel and because you can't stop me and because I absolutely love this series. So if you haven't seen Avatar, um, find it somewhere, watch it because it's amazing. But if you have, we're going to be doing a breakdown of the martial arts that has influenced airbending the most. And that martial art is called Bagua or circle walking. Airbending is all about spiral movements. When you meet resistance, you must be able to switch direction at a moment's notice. Bagua Zhang, or Bagua for short, is one of three different martial arts of the Wudang school, a school named after the Wudang Mountains in northwestern part of China. This area is home to a complex of Taoist temples. The other two arts are Tai Chi, which is a style that I already covered in this series, and Ziying Quan. And if you want me to do that for this series, then let me know down in the comments. Bagua Zhang translates to eight Chagran Palm, referring to the Chagrams, which is a significant aspect of Taoism. The creation of Bagua as a formalized martial art is attributed to Dong Haichun, who is alleged to have learned from Taoist and Buddhist masters in the mountains during the early 19th century. However, Chinese authorities do not accept the Buddhist origin and insist that teachers were purely Taoist due to the frequent reference of core concepts of the cultural Taoism like the yin yang theory or the Bagua diagram. Hu Chen's Buddhist students started to incorporate legends and philosophies after the fact, after it was already created. He taught this Taoist circle walking to bodyguards in the Imperial Palace and became a prominent instructor for many years in Beijing, eventually earning patronage by the Imperial Court. He is credited with being both the instructor of at least eight other extremely influential martial artists of that era and helped 15 other styles become what they are today. The practice of circle walking is a primary characteristic of Bagua, aimed to stay in a constant state of movement to avoid attacks. This is such an integral part of training that every martial art that branched away from Bagua uses this and keeps this as its core tradition. Practitioners walk around the edge of a circle in various low stances, facing the center and periodically changing direction as they do their forms. For beginners, the circle is 6 to 12 feet in diameter, allowing for the student to learn flexibility and proper, and proper body alignment. <clears throat> and the circle changes sizes as you carry on through the ranks. <laughs> Many styles that have broken apart have combined weapons within the Bagua style of combat, using a variety of weapons like the Scholar's Pin, which is a pair of small knives, or the Bagua Saber, a sword that can be at times the length of the practitioner's body. And of course, they use more conventional weapons like the Staff, Spear, Cane, and even Hook Swords. So does that mean Jet is an airbender? Down you go. Nah. Bagua also contains a wide variety of techniques as well, containing various strikes with the palm, the fist, the elbow, and even the fingers. It also contains a list of kicks, joint locks, and throws, all while using the distinctively evasive circular footwork. Bagua and airbenders are both known to be able to flow in and out of combat in a way that is unique to them. And because of this, they are able to easily face multiple attackers at once. Now guys, I know this is a much shorter video than this series would normally be, at least I think it is while I'm recording this, but that's because this art is just a super underrated and not very popular um, 
as far as martial arts go. It's not, you know, it's not one of a big, it's not a big name. And so because of that, it is super hard to find information about it. And, this, and so guys, if you want me to do more shorter, lesser known uh, martial arts, then definitely let me know down in the comments. If there's a specific art you want me to do, also tell me because I have a list of styles that I want to do, but like, you know, you guys can help me out with finding out the order I want to do them in because there's so many I want to cover, but like, you know, I can only do one at a time. So let me know if you are interested. Guys, like I said earlier, this is Avatar Month, and so if you want to see all the videos I've ever done in any Avatar Month, there will be a playlist at the end of this video. Definitely go and check it out um, because, you know, Avatar stuff is the bomb.com. And don't forget to do all that fun YouTube stuff, all the liking and the commenting and the disliking. If you, I guess if you dislike the video, you can do that too. But whatever it is, make sure you do it because it helps me out a ton. Uh, if I haven't reached it yet, I'm getting very close to that 25,000 subscriber mark. So don't, you know, don't forget I have a giveaway going on right now. So if you comment on any video, it lets me know that you know you are in the giveaway all you have to do is comment on a video between when i announced the giveaway and when i hit 25,000 subscribers so if you're interested in that definitely check out uh the video about it and i'll leave information about it down below but until next time my name is dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out